The 31 artists in the show draw on many, many different sources, many different styles, and a single painting might mix up subjective views of reality, objective events, things from history, things that are invented, and they can present two things, two objects, two people that you would never associate. But because of the way they're painted, because of the way the artist uses color and line and form, you suddenly start to feel that they're connected and you start to imagine connections between them. So in mixing things up, artists are really asking us to see connections between things that we normally don't see. I'm standing in front of this amazing kind of tapestry of color. And as your eye glides along this, you're in this incredible topography of textures and lines and contours. And the colors are so vivid that as Rachel says, you really experience color with your whole body. It's a very physical thing. But then you step away from it and you notice something. And you notice that this is actually not an abstract painting or not entirely abstract. It's a mix. It's also an image of a mouth, of teeth. Rachel has been using this motif as a way of talking about different histories related to the black body and the representation of black bodies. And there's a sense of complete surprise, I think, when you suddenly look at this and you go, oh my God, that's actually a picture of something. And there's a lot of work in this show that over and over again teaches us that appearances are deceiving. And that also give you this experience of seeing more than one way of looking at something. One of the things that a lot of the artists in this exhibition mix up is references from the past and the present. And they ask us to think about our connection to the past and how we relate that to our present in different ways. And Lubaina made a series of paintings around a terrible atrocity that happened on a French slaving ship in the early 19th century. We see four people with very worried looking expressions on the deck of a boat and one of them, presumably the captain, is wearing this 19th century clothing. But the man with him is wearing completely contemporary dress. And I think in putting contemporary characters in a narrative that's related to this historical incident, the artist is reminding us that the consequences of that history and that past and slavery are still with us today. That we can't pretend that the past is something that isn't part of our present. All these artists really think about their painting as being a kind of conversation. It's a conversation with history and the history of painting. It's a conversation with all the different types of images that we all absorb every day. And it's very importantly a conversation with us, the viewers who look at them, because these artists don't give you a simple subject or meaning. The meaning is really your experience of it.